Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a quick one and I'm going to show you how I deadhead my hydrangeas. So I made a video last year talking about how I grow my hydrangeas in containers and the most frequently asked question was either can you deadhead or how do you deadhead your hydrangeas? And the answer is yes, you can deadhead your hydrangeas and you should for any blooms that have either been damaged or they're just starting to fade. Now, I think some of the hesitation to deadhead hydrangeas comes from the confusion between deadheading versus pruning. So with deadheading, we are just removing the spent bloom. Whereas with pruning, especially when you're starting to get into hydrangeas in the first place, you hear a lot of information about is it blooming on new wood versus old wood? If it's blooming on old wood and you prune incorrectly or at the wrong time, then you're going to lose your blooms for the following year. But pruning typically involves removing the branches. Deadheading, we are just taking off the blooms. So you can do that at any time on new wood or old wood hydrangeas. So let me go show you how I'm going to deadhead my hydrangeas. So let's take a look at this hydrangea first. So there's two blooms here that I'm going to deadhead. This one, and this one and you can see here they're starting to fade if i get in closer you can even see that some of the leaves are brown and this is normal this happens over time with blooms as they age it could also happen because of some sort of stress i did have these in the sun and one that i burnt because of the sun exposure i already deadheaded so anytime they become faded or damaged go ahead and remove them so these right here i'm going to go ahead and cut and all I'm gonna do is come underneath the flower and cut right here. So the stem just underneath the flower, that's where I'm going to snip. So that's all it takes to remove these. And by taking off these flowers, because I mean, it's still, you know, a little bit pink. I could leave it if I wanted to, but by removing the spent blooms, that's gonna give the plant more energy into putting out new growth and new blooms versus using its energy to hold on to these old blooms. So let's go ahead and I'll remove these and then we'll move on to my next hydrangea. So like I said, just lifting up under here, there are these tiny little leaves that are coming off of the bloom, but then I'm just gonna snip right there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this one. A little bit harder to get in there and show you, but just snipping right there at the bottom of the bloom. So here's what she looks like now with those blooms taken off. This one is starting to fade, but it's still pretty pink, but that'll be the next one that I deadhead. And then you can see all of these new, even some very tiny blooms are starting to form. Now let's take a look at this one because I've left some blooms on here that are way beyond where I should have deadheaded them just so that I could deadhead them on camera with you here. So this one obviously is already brown. I think this one got damaged from too much sun. Um, and then this one's also starting to fade. So I'll go ahead and I think those are the only two I'm going to remove on this hydrangea. So coming in here again, just underneath right there. Also, while we're at this plant, I did want to show you one issue that I'm dealing with. Uh, you can see these white spots on the leaves. I dealt with this last year, I think maybe on this same plant, um, but basically it's having some fungal issues because we've had so much rain and so much humidity and there really hasn't been enough warm weather in between to dry up the moisture. Um, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and sprayed this with a neem oil fungicide. I'll link the one below that I use. Um, I just used it for the first time, just put the first application on this week. I think it's a once a week application, um, but also the rain is happening so frequently that I don't know if it's staying on long enough. But just wanted to show you that that is one of the issues I'm dealing with. Just on this hydrangea so far too, I mean this one looks good. This here is the last hydrangea that I have in my garden. And even though there's some that are starting to become a little bit more faded, they're not really at the point yet where I want to remove them. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these on. 
Now, while it is normal for blooms to fade throughout the season and for you to deadhead them, what is not normal is if all of your blooms start to brown at once. Now, I was having that issue because I attempted to move some of my hydrangeas over into another area of the garden. So up here on the rooftop deck, weather is more extreme. So if it's hot, it's hotter. The sun is much more intense up here than it would be on the ground. So when I tried to move them anywhere but this wall that's basically in shade the majority of the day, all of the flowers were scorching. And I went ahead and removed those and then that taught me that my hydrangea was not happy there. And now since they've been in the shade, I mean they've been beautiful and loving their life. So keep an eye out for things like that. Again, general fading, normal, something happening to all of your blooms at once, not normal. A sign that there's another issue that you want to try to resolve. Um, other things, you know, once you get to the end of the season, since the plant's not going to be putting on a lot of growth, you can leave the blooms on um, just to have some sort of winter interest or, like I do, remove them so that you can dry them and use them on your Christmas trees. Um, but I think that's everything. Again, deadheading, really simple. Definitely something you should be doing throughout the season, not just to help your plant, but to also help it look pretty throughout the entire season as well. So if you have any questions, let me know down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.